Okay, this tutorial is about using the full section and making a full section big menu. This is referred to as the big menu. And we're going to actually add some more pages here to be clicked on. So before I go and add the big menu, I need to go and add pages. So for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this page. Page is exported. Okay, so just so I can quickly create more pages, I'm just going to add new, use Jack Page Builder, import page, adopt a pug. And now read these things clearly. Do you want to replace the header, footer, and top menu of the import page with site default header, footer, and top menu? So I'm going to select no because I'm importing it into the same site so all of the information would be the same. Okay, so now we're on home page we are going to add a full section and now we have to drag this to where we want it to live and we want it we'll put it above the original middle menu and we'll add a module and right now there are 10 full section modules and we're working with the big menu okay and this is big menu, font size 25, you can change the, the font family, padding, whether you want it bold or not, and all devices, and then you're going to come and add an action or add a button. The title, page selection, okay, so here's my page. You have to, if you're going to add more links for different pages, then you need to add the pages before you get to here. Okay, you can have it open in the same window or a new window. The text and you might also want to do a little bit of work beforehand on setting up the color combinations that you want to use. Okay, background color. Okay, so there's just those few settings here on this one. And click Save, add another one. So I need to rescue a pug, open in the same window, Here's the button text. Now, you can make them all the same, or I'm going to make it sort of different. I want the text orientation to be in the center, and text color white, and that's it for this one. So to make this actually look nice, it would be a good idea to spend a little bit of time getting picking out some colors and coordinating them. So you're just going to keep adding buttons to manage the number of pages that you want to have. And this is something to note. If you set one at center, then you want to go make sure that you set them all at center. It looks very strange. So I now have seven tabs in the big menu. So we'll save. Okay, update. There, there we go. So here's our big menu, and you see the menu buttons expand to absorb the size of the, the name, and that, that's actually not too bad. And I would now go and delete this big menu. So we'll just toss this. Okay, so the previous big menu is gone. Now I strongly recommend that you do it this way. Don't just go and delete the big menu and, and add a full section because if you don't like what you've got and you decide you really do want to have the smaller big menu or the narrower big menu, you have to start over again. Before you go ahead and delete something, you think, okay, I really want to replace this, just save the section. Give it a name, save the section, and then, I'm sorry that I deleted that, you come down to the bottom, import section, and you can import 
any of the sections that you have saved. These are saved locally or you can see if there's any that are saved on the server. And now here's our full section, big menu. So I think I would like to have a little bit of space between the, the big menu and this headline. So now we'll go and see how to do that. Okay, so there isn't any top padding to leave a space between the headline and the big menu. So what I would do is add an image and this is image for space and I'm not going to actually add an image and I would just add say 20 pixels of space and save and I will move the image I will move the big menu down below image and if I wanted space between the big menu and whatever is below it, I just clone this and move it down below big menu. Update and preview changes. So here it's left some space between the headline and between the blurbs that are down below. And that wraps up this tutorial.